So we just did spark plugs and R8 coil packs. Run smooth, see the full install. If you want to do this for your you know, EA888 motor, um, I had to take off all of these and unplug these and I used a zip tie to get this last one out of there. Uh, the other thing is you can break these really easily so I had a, a small pick that I used to pull off gaskets and it helped me to get these out because I did break one. So watch out for that. Today we're gonna do two things. Change spark plugs, change the coil packs for the R8 coil packs. Let's take a look at what we have here. A lot of paper. Ruthenium, 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 ruthenium. This is supposed to be the the newest, better than double platinum, last longer lasting, better spark. We'll see. Check it out. You know, should should be just the same realistically. Then we have oh, don't drop coil packs. The red top NGK coil packs from the Audi R8. It's supposed to be at 5.5 ohms versus three and a half ohms as well as providing extra connection for spark connectivity. That's beautiful. And we're gonna do actually a cabin filter change because I haven't done that yet. And I've been breathing in the old cabin filter. So let's change that out. The first thing I'm gonna do is pop off these connectors. And I broke that one. Oh my god. Super broken. Let's see. There's got to be a way, better way to do this. Okay. Not everybody takes these out, so I'm just going to leave them in and do what I thought I was going to do in the first place, which is kind of... Last one, I put a zip tie around the lip there and then just pulled on it. As you can see, that works pretty well actually. They have this like grease on them. It's not oil, it's not oil, so there is a leaking valve cover gasket. As you can see, there's some gunk here. 
on the side of the, of the valve cover, there's a gunk. It's seeping through a little bit. Look, there's some gunk here in the manifold side too. But all of the holes for the spark plugs are clean. Nothing got in there, so that's lucky. We don't have to do any spark plug hole cleaning right now. You just take them out and swap them. Since I have multiple sockets for spark plugs, um, what I'll do is I'll, you know, on a new car, I'll take one of the new spark plugs and test fit it on the spark plug socket to make sure it's the right spark plug socket before I start sticking it in there and over threading or under threading things. So that's perfect actually. So we'll use this one. This one is a 16 millimeter, 5 eighths spark plug socket and it has the rubber on the inside. I highly recommend when you're doing spark plugs to get one of these locking wrenches extensions. That way I never lose the socket inside of the engine. Now it's on there, it won't come off. Start one by one. There it is. And look at that. That tip's not so great. Um, so the original one from Volkswagen is a Bosch AG part number 06H905611R1FB. Uh, I can't tell what it is, but we'll look up the part number later. Now when I'm putting these back, stick it in there. I remove the socket and I do it by hand. So I'll take it by hand, stick it in, and I'll go backwards until I hear a seat properly. You'll hear a click. Oh, that was it, I think. There it is. Now I'll twist it. And you don't really need to tighten it too much. Um, you should use a torque meat, torque wrench, but I just go by feel. Uh, don't do what I do. Use a torque wrench. That's that's it. Yep, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That should be good. And plenty. Two. No, but you some oil on it. Oh, shit. But you does have some oil on it. Alright. Let's see if there's any seats. Did you guys You guys They come pre-greased, which is nice. Dielectric, whatever they call it, grease. Okay. So in. See these. Down. 
reconnect these bitches. One. Putting it all the way back together. Don't forget to put this T30 back in. Again, reverse thread till it seats. This is an aluminum block. And Everything seems good. Yeah. We have a beautiful NGK R8 coil packs run smooth. We'll see it on a drive, see how it feels. So we just did spark plugs and R8 coil packs. Run smooth. I mean, can I really tell a difference right now? No, but you should do this if you're gonna tune your car, which I haven't tuned it yet, but I will be tuning it soon. So we upgraded to ruthenium spark plugs and put the R8 coil packs, which have a 5.5 ohms versus 3.5 ohms on the original coil packs that are prone to failure. They're ready to go and they look amazing. 